Hello everyone, I'm Svetla from CoBuilder and I'm thrilled to be here today with Espen and Frederick to talk about the latest edition of the BASI Summit in March 2024. Uh, this global gathering brings together industry professionals committed to leveraging open standards for a more sustainable built environment. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, Tell us, guys, how was it? Uh, we would love to hear your overall impression and uh, key takeaways. Maybe Espen, you first? Yes. Uh, hi. Uh, just came back from uh, Valencia last week. I uh, had a very nice trip to a beautiful city, uh, sunny Spain. Um, uh, I'm from Norway, so uh, we uh, we definitely needed some sun. Um, I think uh, the Building Smart uh, Summit is always a good um, uh, opportunity to meet uh, colleagues, uh, friends from uh, through many years. So uh, really, really enjoy that, and uh, it's it's an arena where the. Um, uh, uh, people f f in the construction industry can 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 meet up, um, uh, work towards a more uh, digitized uh, future uh, for the construction industry uh, through Open BIM and uh, yeah. So really enjoyed it. Great, great to hear it. What about you, Fred? Well, uh, pretty close feeling. I mean, that's that's always really interesting to attend those kind of events where you can meet all the stakeholders dealing with open beam in uh, in their day to day life, uh, having feedback, questions, ideas. Uh, so you always come back with more questions than answers uh, than before. <laughs> but that that's the beauty of it. Uh, many new thoughts, etc. So uh, for this, that's that's always a real nice events. Um, for me, the main takeaways would be the usual acronyms from Building Smart, uh, like IFC, BSDD, IDS, and maybe a new one which is DPP. Uh, why IFC? Mainly because it will IFC 4.3 will be an official standard uh, end of March. So great mm -hmm. work done by the Building Smart International team. Uh, why BSDD? Because many domains in Building Smart are working on uh, around data dictionaries and around BSDD uh, to use the content from it. Uh, why IDS? Because it will also become uh, an official Building Smart standard, uh, not an ISO one, but an official Building Smart standard uh, also pretty soon. And a lot of tools are already using it uh, in the OpenBIM community, so a lot of traction uh, around IDS plus BSDD, but I'll come back to that later on. And on the DPP, meaning Digital Product Passport, I'm Espen is the one that will talk a bit more about it because he knows much more than me on Digital Product Passports. Oh yeah, actually both of you were speakers at the summit. So maybe you can give us kind of a sneak peek into your session and yeah, main highlights and insights that would be interesting for the audience. Espen, yeah about your your session how how was it yeah yeah it was um, very good um uh, i'm uh, part of the product domain uh, i mean the steering committee there and we uh, try to uh, uh, put together a session that would um, uh, bring in what's going on in europe now on uh, changes in uh, regulation uh, regulations um uh, to support the European uh, Commission, uh, their strategy on uh, making a, a green transition as soon uh, as possible. Um, and they have um, identified um, uh, digitalization as a tool for achieving uh, this. Uh, so, so what we do in Building Smart um, is um, uh, is a key for uh, su supporting uh, that uh, European uh, strategy. So uh, we um, uh, the, the the topic of, of um, uh, at least the first session, uh, the first two sessions, was to to bridge um, uh, the regulation. Uh, what's coming now through the the new eco design for Susta sustainable products regulation (ESPR). Uh, and uh, the new construction product regulation, uh, CPR, 
um, the requirements on sustainability in addition to technical um, requirements uh, to, to bridge that to uh, to open BIM. That was uh, what we uh, wanted to, um, uh, to, to show uh, and to, to challenge the community to, uh, to uh, react uh, according to the, the, the new direction from the European Commission. What about you, Fred? Uh, you also were a speaker at the event. Can you give us maybe in short yeah, what was your session about? Yes, absolutely. Um, I've been invited to a session of the product domain. Um, so exactly as the domain has been talked about, but uh, my session was called governance of data. Well, that's about governance of data. And my point here was to show that I told you that many people are using BSDD. We have seen plugins uh, using BSDD, which are very well advanced. And uh, in computer, we fully support this because we think that Define uh, is perfectly fitting into this. Define is allowing you to create, manage, uh, author content into a data dictionary, meaning objects, properties, and all this kind of stuff, to push it and to publish it into a platform like BSD, uh, where you can access this, uh, this data. Um, so the first part was to explain how we can create and maintain a data dictionary. So that's all about trusting the data uh, we will use. Then the second step was to show how to publish and make this uh, data dictionary content available. Uh, in one case, that was for Cerebois, which is the European Federation of Food, uh, that published this content into their own website, but also decided to push this content into BSD. And here, that's very important because we are touching the topic of interoperability between data dictionaries. And you have several places uh, where you can find the same content. Um, and then the second step of this presentation was uh, what to do. That's the famous, then what? I have a data dictionary, then what? And here, uh, that was COVID link used to, uh, to create and manage requirements by using objects and properties coming part of them from Define, part of them from BSDD, and being able to create those requirements and provide them into an IDS. So I told you BSDD IDS, here we are. And uh, I also said IFC because the end of the presentation was to show how to check an IFC BIM model according to this IDS made by using BSDD and Define Data Dictionary. So connecting all the dots and for one of the first time showing that this can be done by using, using several data dictionaries and for example, in the final IDS files, you still have links to define, links to BSD, so at any time you can check about the content you've been using uh, from your data dictionaries. And uh, I really think that was one of the first time people could see this interoperability between data dictionary and use of them. And this was quite well received and uh, already some people in the attendance was thinking, for example, about how to manage and add e-class in BSD, then use link uh, to create uh, requirements and IDS. So yeah, a lot of uh, interest around those kind of things. People are now really understanding and touching what we can do with the power of data dictionaries and interoperable data dictionaries. Super, super great. Then um, wrapping up uh, in general, what do you think are the key hot topics that professionals in construction should have their rather on post BSI summit? So can you tell us both of you like three hot topics that you you think are right now really important to keep in the back of our heads? Fred, you can start this time and then Espen yeah. will end. Well, uh, I will start with DPP and say that Espen mm -hmm. will go for it. So done but this one is for a spend uh but ids which is becoming a, BS, a bsi standard really important to follow it and uh to be ready for it because it's coming and it's coming very fast use of bsd and i told you ifc is becoming an iso standard for version 4.3 but building smart has already started the work on i would say ifc next generation that will be called ifc5 and this will be huge changes so it's really important to follow uh, what will be done in this area. And that's the right time to maybe contact Building Smart International to come with feedback, ideas, and maybe requests. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Espen, your three key hot topics for the professionals in construction. 
Yes, um, I think I would uh, start with um, uh, sustainability uh, mm. because this this is linked to the European strategy. Um, uh, the construction industry need to act fast, uh, and um, uh, the message we gave in in um, in Valencia was that um, uh, we shouldn't look at this as a threat. We should look at this as an opportunity to to make new a new direction and new um, uh, economic uh, economic models, uh, and that I think people uh, should uh, should think a little bit uh, about uh, that message. Um, uh, next one, uh, I would say uh, digital product passport uh, DPP. Uh, it's an instrument to uh, an important key as part of the, the, the green transition. We need more uh, sustainability. We need uh, uh, better solutions, better products, um, uh, and, and we need to take this into the uh, construction industry, into everything we do. Uh, the DPP will uh, provide um, better products, uh, more sustainable products, uh, more uh, transparent uh, products. Uh, Etc. So um, that is an important tool. Um, Binning Smart uh, has to understand how to uh, connect to this uh, this tool called uh, uh, Digital Product Passport. Uh, and as uh, the third one, I would say um, data dictionaries. Uh, Frederick is talking about BSDD. That is a data dictionary, uh, and that is a tool for uh, connecting uh, this. Um, uh, the requirements, the regulations, the 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 the, the susten sustainability topic uh, to um, uh, open BIM uh, to uh, design uh, to uh, digital BIM processes. Data dictionaries is, is an important uh, uh, tool for making this happen. In in a data dictionary, everyone can use. Uh, uh, a common technical language um, that uh, uh, partly will come from uh, in Europe, the European uh, regulation. So that is an important connect. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, thank you both for sharing uh, these valuable insights from the BASI Summit held in March 2024. I'm sure our audience will find them both useful and intriguing. So thanks again. Bye for now.